Hi guys, I'm Ryan Newsman and welcome to my flight hunting channel. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything as I upload it. Uh, my channel already contains hundreds of videos covering a wide range of both patterns and techniques from the basic to the more advanced. Uh, so without delay, let's get on with the show. Hi guys. So we're going to tie a really simple uh, little sort of temple dog tube fly. So I take uh, this is 20 mil here of straight 3.2 mil plastic uh, outer tubing, and I've flared the end of it here just with a a lighter. So I suppose the idea with this is just to show you you don't have to get overly complicated to tie a, an effective fly. So what I'm taking here is a strand of silver crystal here. I've doubled that over and I'll tie it in here. Now this is going to be both my uh, butt and my underwing. So I'm just going to take super glue and I'm going to sort of coat the top of the tube there. And then I'm going to wrap that into that to create the butt section. And then I'll take it in wide open turns up to the front of the fly tie over it with one wrap and leave it there and take my tying thread back. So there's still little bunges, bulges of the super glue sticking out there. I'm going to take a little bit of red light bright then and I'm going to twist that on as my dubbing and then I'm going to wrap that on and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to wrap that on while that super glue is still wet and that will just adhere all of that to there without the need for ribbon etc. Fold back my two strands here of crystal hair and I'm going to trim that off uh, probably about level with where the hook might might sit to. So for the wing I'm just going to use straight black arctic fox tail and I'm going to take a bunch out of that. So take our bunch, hold it in my left hand I'm just going to pull out the shortest rubbish with my right and then I'm going to trim it for length, so I'm just going to cut that square. Then I'm going to take my clear varnish and I'm just going to put a little dab into the cut end. Measure that up to the back of the flare and then I'm going to wrap into it while it is still wet. Now you can use super glue, but super glue if you don't get it tied in fast enough uh, can make the head a little bit bulky on you whereas the varnish here will set in time. Uh, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on little uh, substitute jungle cock cheeks. So I'm going to put one on each side here. Now I'm tying it in uh, sort of with the bad side facing out but if you notice I'm tying it at an angle so it's being tied downwards so when I fold it back it'll sit up into the wing. One either side you can see them forked out and then I'm going to take a black soft hackle, I'm going to strip off the fluff, take it by the tip, fold back all the fibres and nip out the tip, tie it in on a little gap in the stalk and back over it and then we're going to fold that between my finger and thumb to double it as we're wrapping. Now because we're tying on 3.2 here you're only going to get two or three, possibly three, usually two, two and a half, three turns of thread. Tie it in, flip that back on itself and get a turn across the stock while it's folded. That'll stop it from pulling out and trim it off in nice and neat. And then we just push these two jungle cock subs back, hold all back and we're going to create our head with the red tying thread. Just 
Trim that off. And then varnish. And that's the fly tide. So, as you can see, four minutes will tell you a fly that's fully fishable and doesn't involve a huge pile of technique. Um, so, said, so like what you see, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, and until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.